November 9th and 10th, Monday and Tuesday. So the sun is in Scorpio and the moon is in Virgo. I immediately know Scorpio's water. People get confused. They don't think of Scorpio as being water because they're so intense and because they appear like they're fiery because when they get angry, they get angry. But they're actually water. It's a surprise. They're way, way more sensitive than they appear. And on the 10th, on Tuesday, Mercury is going to enter Scorpio. So we're in a very classical, when the sun and Mercury are both in the same sign, which only happens for a few weeks, that's a really classical flavor of Scorpio. And the moon's in Virgo, which is Earth, which complements it. So so let's take Monday and Tuesday, feel that the months of October that was going on with all those T-squares, there's still a T-square, but because there's earth and water settling us down, the sun in Scorpio begins to sextile that beautiful stellium in Capricorn. We talked about the stellium. There's all those planets in Capricorn. Then we have Scorpio with only two signs away. So Capricorn's earth, it's number 10. Scorpio's eight. They're two signs apart. Whenever they're two signs apart, it's either earth and water or fire and air. So this case, it's the complement of Scorpio and Capricorn and the moon in Virgo. It sounds all so good. Five planets and earth. And there's still that T-square. We have Venus and Libra opposite Mars and Aries. And of course, Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn and Capricorn. So when there's a mixture, if a baby were born with this, the first thing I'd focus on is the Scorpio Virgo. The primary influence of the sun and the moon stand out. And that's giving us the ground. Then we have all those planets in Capricorn supporting the moon in Virgo. So now I'm feeling really stable. And yes, there's a T-square. And that T-square releases in Cancer. So it's giving us permission. I love this Monday and Tuesday. Wake up in the morning, feel the moon in Virgo energy, feel yourself grounding, and then use the Cancer release of this to say, I'm going to take care, first of all, of my body. Moon and Virgo's favorite thing, and Scorpio, is health and caring for yourself. Permission to be selfish. That's what I like about Scorpios. It's not that they're selfish. It's that they're so intent on making sure they do a good job. They really are thorough. So if it means taking care of their health, they eat really well. And Moon and Virgo, of course, reads all the labels. And all that stallion and Capricorn is going, let's eat organic. And this is a great couple of days to put your attention on what you need to do to take yourself down and be grounded and feel settled. That's what the feeling is in the heavens right now. Mm. And Mercury just entered Scorpio on Tuesday. So less words, more results, self-care, permission to be you. Astrology Ace just wanted me to tell you all my videos are about helping you follow the rhythm in the heavens to be you and feel the calm in the middle of the storm. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about the four elements and discover which elements and signs you're most compatible with, which everybody wants to know, click the link in the description to sign up and get instant access to my Elemental Compatibility PDF. And you can find out who you really do get along with.